So you're thinking about switching to Art Studio, but you've been using Final Draft or another screenwriting software for years, maybe decades, and new things are scary. So why give Art Studio a shot? Well, let me present our bold and concise two-point plan to convince you. One, switching is super easy. Two, Art Studio makes your job easier. Too concise? All right, here's a little more. One, switching is super easy. You can keep your workflow the same, write like you're used to writing, and even seamlessly import final draft files into Arc Studio. Two, Arc Studio makes your job easier. Problems that make you want to pull your hair out in final draft, like forgetting to track changes or making your edits in the wrong file, don't even exist in Arc Studio. And in Arc Studio, you can do things that are impossible to do in final draft. Let's take a look at Arc Studio. This is a fake script that I wrote for this video uh, called Greener Pastures. It's about two cows who are looking uh, across the road at a greener and yes, better pasture on the other side. This is no time for subtlety. You'll notice that the formatting is the same. We have our scene headings, action, character, dialogue, parentheticals, you know, it all works the same. Uh, you use return and tab to switch between elements. You can also use uh, keyboard shortcuts like command two to make an action line and command three to make a character. So, you know, it all looks the same. And of course you can also customize your writing flow to decide uh, which elements you, you want to come next when you hit return. Along with the keyboard shortcuts that you're used to, we have some other ones, including the most powerful of the shortcuts, command K on a Mac, which gives you this menu, which basically shows you all the shortcuts and lets you search all the menus and also lets you search your document um, for whatever you want. And when it comes time to export your script as a PDF, everything looks normal. One of these is a final draft export. One of these is an Arc Studio export, and I really can't tell the difference. The only real difference I can see is just due to my uh, poor job taking screenshots of the PDFs. So it's easy to get writing in Arc Studio, but what if you've already started writing your script in Final Draft? It's probably too late, right? Just wait for the next script? No, you can do it now, convert now. Um, you can seamlessly import your final draft file. It'll automatically convert into an Arc Studio file, and then you can just keep on writing. One of the things that Arc Studio does better is helping you keep track of all your changes and revisions. So let's say you're working on a script in a traditional screenwriting software, and you've got all these drafts of it, which means you have all these different files. If you want to look through all those uh, drafts to find something, you have to open up all the files, and now your desktop is covered in windows, everything looks the same, it's hard to tell what's changed, and it's really easy to make a mistake and you know start editing in the wrong file. But in Arc Studio, you can browse all the drafts of your script in the app. And since they're connected, you can see what's changed between the drafts. For instance, what's different between your current draft and the white production draft, or your current draft and the blue production draft. And you can see what's changed by the writer who made the changes, by the revision that the changes were made in, or even by what was added or deleted. What's been added since that draft will be green, and what's been cut since that draft will be in red. You can see all these changes since the draft was made, or you can see the changes that were made in that draft. Plus, we can take it a step further. You can actually find something in an old draft that you cut and bring it back automatically into your current draft. And to help you keep track of what you're looking at, when you're looking at an old draft, the background will be an off-white recycled paper versus your current draft where the background will be white. And since we're web-based, Arc Studio is keeping track of all your writing in the background so that you don't have to worry about it. So let's say you're working on a draft and you look over and you don't see any stars and you're like, oh no, I was supposed to be tracking changes this whole time, I forgot. Well, in Arc Studio, you didn't forget because you can just go back and compare your current version to the previous version and everything that's changed will be marked. And you can view those changes by the writer who made the change, uh, by the revision they were made in, or you can just do it simply and just have all the changes be blue. You never have to save as because everything is being automatically saved as you go. And when you're ready to file a draft, you just take a snapshot. We call it a snapshot because it permanently captures the state of your document as it is at the moment you take it. Uh, it's a milestone that you want to keep around for future reference. When you give your snapshot a color, we call it a revision, and then the next changes you make will be in the next color in your revision order. Plus, Arc Studio creates autosaves. These are snapshots taken every time you stop working for 10 minutes. They're all accessible to you in your full history in the left sidebar, and if you want, you can turn an autosaved into a snapshot. Another thing that's great about Arc Studios is alternate drafts. 
So let's say you're working on a script and you have an idea, maybe you're not happy with your ending or your intro or some scene and you wanna try something different but you don't wanna mess up your main script. Uh, instead of having to create a completely different file, you can just create an alternate draft and make all your changes and uh, it won't affect the main draft. Plus the alternate draft is private. So if you're working with collaborators and you don't want them to see you know, your work uh, while you're doing it, it's in private. And then once you're ready, you can share it with your collaborators and make it public. We also have an awesome live collaboration tool that works based on just your collaborator's email. You just put in their email, they'll get an invite, they'll join. Uh, without you having to share with them an alphanumeric session ID. And we've integrated an AI research assistant into Arc Studio. So it's not gonna write your script for you or anything like that. It's just when you're writing and you have a question, you can just hit Command K, uh, write your question, and the research assistant will look that up for you, create and title a research note with that information permanently attached to your script so that you don't have to go search Google or whatever and get lost in a wormhole or get distracted and check deadline and your email. This isn't even getting into our drag and drop plot board which lets you break your story easily, color code all your story beats with uh, character and storyline elements, and even the locations which will show up in the autocompleter when you're writing your script. Plus, once you go to write your script, all your beat information, all your outline information is right there with you so you don't have to switch to another app or switch to another view. You can just write your script with all your information right at hand. All right, that's it for now. If you haven't yet, you can download Arc Studio at arcstudiopro.com. And for more information, you can check out all the guides and how-tos in the Arc Studio Help Center. Until next time, happy writing.